How's it going class? Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation I put together on hockey. We're going to go over some, some rules of infractions, some skating tips, uh, some games. We're going to have a good time. So, um, My name is Zachary Holguin. I uh, hope you enjoy the presentation. So to start off, we have some rules and infractions for ice hockey. Uh, so the initial thing is being off sides. Um, when any member of the attacking team proceeds the puck uh, over the defending team's blue line, a two-line pass, which would be when a player passes the puck from his defending zone to a teammate beyond the red center line, um, there's a thing called icing. Uh, which is when a player shoots the puck across the center red line and passes the opposing red goal line. So just kind of clearing it. Um, and then a couple things you get yourself in trouble for. Uh, we have a two minute penalty. So that's gonna be boarding, uh, charging, cross checking, elbowing, um, holding on to people, tipping them over, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. And, uh, and then we have some five minute penalties not some good stuff here, but kind of fun. Uh, we have some fighting, spearing, maybe don't do that one. Uh, some high sticking, uh, we have butt ending, and we have cross checking. So it's kind of just coming coming up to somebody and just railing them with your stick. Um, so those are some rules and infractions. Be mindful as you're on the ice. You could get into some trouble. We'll be watching you. Some skating tips and skills. So. Like my man over here, who's kind of all up in the air, there's a couple things we wanna kind of bring some attention to before we get you out on the ice. Um, so we always wanna remain in athletic position, which is your head's up, chest is up. You're kind of in a, a little bit of a quarter squat. Um, your knees are bent, and uh, you're always looking with where you wanna go. Because um, wherever your head goes, your body will follow. So uh, always, Always keep your head on a swivel. Uh, always be rotating and looking where you want to go. I'll keep you pretty grounded on the ice. Um, for a traditional skate, we have uh, what looks like just a shoe attached to a metal blade. Uh, at the bottom of the blade, it's flat. And then we have, we have an outside edge and we have an inside edge. Um, so when you are skating, you want to make sure that you are, you're, you're riding on your edges and that'll help you turn if you just kind of um, immediately turn your skates inside out. Uh, you will you can actually kind of scrape it along the ice and it can help you slow down and uh, stop pretty quickly. Um, and if you have to carve really hard to make a, a quick but aggressive turn, you can, you can uh, rotate both of your skates inside um, and uh, you can turn through wherever you're trying to go. So uh, a little trick with skating is uh, when you don't have the skates on, just practice balancing on one foot. Um, if you can balance on one foot, you will be a little bit ahead of the game when you get on the ice um, because the idea is as you're skating with your feet, that's my hands, um, you're kind of pushing off with one skate on the side and you're kind of gliding on the, on the flat surface of the skate on the other. So if you can't balance on one foot without a skate, it's gonna be pretty tough with a skate on on the ice. Um, so practice balancing on one foot. And uh, just to initially start out just, just moving, you wanna take one of your skates, your outside right or your outside left, and turn it and then kind of take that, that medial edge, that inside edge, and push it down and back. And that'll help you kind of keep forward. But make sure you're keeping your face forward uh, your head is in the in the direction you want to go in. So some basics to skating. Um, we'll get out there. We'll try it. Um, the good old D zone coverage. So when you guys are out there playing a game, you got to make sure your coverage is on. Um, so this is your basic layout of ice hockey of a of a rink. Pretty much uh, the one we're gonna review is the box plus one. Um, so there's gonna be four sections. There's gonna be a section here. There's gonna be a section up here, down right and uh, top right. And then there's gonna be a center in the middle. So you'll have your two defensemen here. You'll have your wingers up here and your center kind of floating inside this mini box, kind of following the, plucks, uh, the puck. So as the, the forwards bring the puck towards your defense, 
um, you are staying in your sector. So the defensemen will stay in their corners, the wingers will stay up in their corners, and the center will kind of follow on an inside box in here a little bit closer to create another body, another barrier near the goal, and to assist with clearing the puck and getting it up to um, his, his wingers so that they can push back into the attacking position. Um, but the idea is that if the puck is coming in this direction, everybody slightly rotates over here. So this is your strong side now. So your kind of your center comes over here. Your right defense and your, your top winger kind of push and keep pressure on the forwards that are bringing the puck in. And if they get it to this side, everybody slightly moves over. Your strong side's here. Your center will move towards over here in this little box, creating a gap in between this corner and up here in the middle so that it makes it a lot harder to, to seal a puck in the goal. Um, so it's this little box that you have a person here, here, there, and there, one in the center, and you're constantly moving in a left and right direction ever so slightly within your section. So as they're coming over, you wanna just keep pressure uh, wherever the puck is coming. Uh, therefore, you can reduce the risk of, of getting a score from the other team. Games and activities, some fun stuff to do. Um, some things we can play are ice soccer. We experienced that a little bit in the previous class. Um, great thing about ice soccer is uh, you're working a lot on your footwork, on your skating, being able to stay balanced on your feet. Um, so it's great because you have to kind of, like we said, work on that single leg motion, staying on one foot, kicking the ball with the other, shifting your weight, looking where you want to follow through with. Um, it's a great way to just get away and try some new things. Um, another fantastic uh, game, which you can watch a little clip on, is ice football. So just like two-hand touch football, um, or one-hand touch if, if you prefer, um, the same rules apply. Uh, you have a team, you have an opposing defense line, um, and you're going to stay down. Your teammates will run out. They'll throw the ball to seek a down or to seek the next increase in um, yardage or marks. And uh, you try to make it all the way to the other red line to uh, score a, a touchdown or just a goal, you throw it in the net. So uh, really cool video. One of these teams have already done it, so we're gonna watch that really quick. So that is the conclusion of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoy ice soccer, ice football, uh, work on your um, balancing on one foot, keeping your head up. Um, just enjoy ice hockey. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.